I am doing this video because I just got a call from my wife and um, I was out working on the pool. I'll show you what I was doing on the pool. I got the robot in there. I got the water running around. Um, I'm going to, uh, here's, that's the uh, water. <laughs> Anyways, the robot's in there running around. Um, I'm going to tell you something about the difference between the United States and a lot of the other places to include Juarez, Mexico. And I'm going to use Juarez, Mexico as a, an example. Um, just last night, 11 people were murdered in Juarez, Mexico. On average, they kill about between 50 and 100 women just women it's, they even have a unit in Juarez called the femicide unit and they're just <laughs> nothing ever gets solved they don't ever catch any anyways I'm trying not to be upset um, only reason I'm talking to you is because some of my wife's uh, friends got murdered last night. I, I didn't know anything about it till about 10 minutes ago. Um, I hope you as good men don't take for granted the fucking fool shits anyways. Anyway, there's the back of my yard. Beautiful blue skies after a storm. It is just fantastic here. No humidity. Uh, anyway, I'll let, I'll let that be. Um, but on average, I'd say, and I'm talking murders. I'm not talking about traffic accidents. I'm not talking about people stepping off the curb and getting hit by a car. I'm not talking about people drunk driving. I'm talking about people who murder one another down in Juarez, Mexico. And that's 10 minutes from my front door. And that's with me driving like a sane person. Um, all that to say this. I know things are difficult right now for all of us in the United States. But I promise you, you don't want to be in a place where you're on your own, where if you're not, what would you do if they told you you couldn't be armed to protect the people you love and all the fucking bad guys had automatic weapon? I just, I love my country. I did my time for my country. My country allowed me to make mistakes and still have a decent life. We have terrible problems in our country, my country, the United States. We have corruption. We have uh, people who are self-serving. We have government officials who could care less. All you have to look is at the island of Maui. Um, I think they're getting ready to bring the... Uh, mask mandates and the COVID thing to lock us down for a little while. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I will tell you this. I would not trade our country for another one on planet Earth. There's no, let me tell you, you don't want to go to Canada and say the wrong thing. You can go to jail for misgendering somebody in Canada. You don't want to go down to Mexico and think you're going to dial 911 or get a fire department official or get an EMS guy to come and help you. That's not how shit works up there. And you're going any further south and it just gets worse. Um, freedom of speech. Do we have complete autonomy and freedom of speech here in the United States? No. But I'll tell you what. I got thrown in jail for calling Manuel Noriega, cara de piña, pineapple face. I got put in jail and they whooped my fucking ass. It's one of the reasons, man, it doesn't fucking matter. 
It's one of the reasons I have a dent in my face. And hey, it doesn't fucking matter. We have a very diverse group of people. Doesn't matter the color of your skin. Doesn't matter. It, well, let, 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 let me not fucking be retorted about that. It does matter to some people the color of your skin. It does matter where you come from and who you are and what you are. And that is not the way the majority of us thinks. We just want an opportunity to succeed. And if you think you can get a better deal somewhere else, God bless you. Go for it. But as many problems as we have here in the U.S., I'm always betting on the United States. I don't. I understand that my government has a lot of issues and a lot of problems, and they do a lot of things wrong, and they're slow and unresponsive. But I would rather live here than anywhere else on earth. And I have been to Africa, Asia. I'm talking Vietnam, Korea, China, Japan, Afghanistan. Iraq, anyways, Germany, England, Amsterdam, Spain, Italy. There isn't a country in Central and South America I haven't been in. That's from Canada all the way down to the tip of Argentina or Chile. I would never change where I live in the United States. I can walk out my front door and yell at the top of my lungs, F the president, F the government, all that kind of stuff. And the secret police aren't going to come later today and beat my... I can't tell you what it's like to live outside of the U.S. Love you guys. Um, I hope this isn't too much of a rant. It's just that for those of you who think our country is not a good place, <clears throat> I completely disagree. Are there better places? There might be, but I don't know where they're at. I don't know where they have a constitution or a republic. And I live in Texas. If you shoot at me, <laughs> I carry a gun and a knife. And Anyway, we shoot back. <laughs> and if you kill one of the people we love, we're going to kill you. Anyways. Let me not belabor the subject. Love you guys. Uh, you know what? I can't tell you how much your comments help me keep going. Um, I don't want anything from you. You don't owe me a goddamn thing. You don't owe me a like, a subscribe. You don't owe me anything. I owe you. You know why I owe you? You're my future. People don't want to tell you that because they don't want you to have any kind of power about, well, well, how about all us truck drivers just go home for 30 days and we don't get milk or food? Hey, the power, hey, let me just stop. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can because we fucking need you. You don't need me. Who needs a fucking 50-year-old, 58-year-old guy with bad wheels? Hey, I don't want to get him my disability. Like a fart in a G-string from West Texas, El Paso. I'm out of here. And I'll title this, Why We Need You More Than You Need Us. Bye-bye.